58 years of Saturday night short track racing tradition at the Jeffersonville Sports Drome Speedway. Hello everybody, my name is Dean Taylor and for the next two hours I'll be your host for some of the best racing the Midwest has to offer. That's right, race fans, we've got racing aplenty tonight. Our card features the four mainstay divisions of the Sports Drome Speedway, oval action with our extreme oval division and the oval dromers. Plus, we'll see edge of your seat excitement from the always dangerous, always exciting extreme figure eights and the dromer eights. Race fans, set back, strap in, and hold on for today's wild ride. We'll light the wick on this out of control rocket we call racing sports drone style right here on ICN2. Back here with you as the Sports Drum Speedway presents here on Insight Cable's ICN Channel 2. It's extreme figure eight time being brought to you by the Powder Keg 2. That's right, the Powder Keg 2 restaurant and lounge. All right, extreme figure eight action for you. 25 laps in duration as we see our competitors. Number three, Steve Montgomery, Calvin Crane in the four, Mike Berry in the number five, Jeffrey Hamilton in the seven. On back in the field is Brian Wolf, Scott Box, Earl Riley, Matthew Anderson. Danny Smith, Rick Hines in the number 27, Tim McDonald in the 30, then Mark Harmon, Artie Ware, Darren Greenwell, Zeke Skaggs, and Tony Anderson. And rounding out the field, we see Dennis Burba, Doug Burba, Jim Barry, Bill Riley Jr., Donnie Blanchard, Todd Whitfield, Ken Reichmuth, and Tim Pinnegar, plus Jeff Roberts and Gerald Poe. Down through the intersection, the cars pick up the pace, and we're not going to turn them loose just yet, as apparently things did not look quite right to our flagman, Dave Wolf. So we'll reset the field. There you see the number 44 of Dennis Burba up there on the front row alongside the number 56 of Donnie Blanchard. They're gonna be setting the pace for this event. Powder Keg 2, Restaurant and Lounge. You see Hoppy the Kangaroo there ran on top of the number 44 of Dennis Burba. Hoppy, of course, the official mascot of the Powder Keg Restaurant and Lounge. Our friend uh, Clark Nichols and company uh, always doing a fine job at the Powder Keg 2. In through turns three and four. Once again, they're going to try for it this time. They're looking a little bit better as we come down through the intersection, and Dave Wolf does turn them loose. We're underway with Green Flag Racing here in this 25 lap extreme figure eight feature event. Out to the early lead is Dennis Burma showing the way to the number 44. Wide open intersection early, but it's going to get tight here very soon as the cars are starting to get spread out. Down to the intersection, your race leader. Number 44, Dennis Burbo, see trouble for the number 17 of Earl Riley. Due to log out early with a cut down tire on his machine. Looks like trouble for the uh, number 44 car as he is out. Dennis Burbo pulling to the side. He's going to head back into the pits. That's going to open the way for the number 56 to now take over the helm. There is your new racing leader. That's Donnie Blanchard. Donnie Blanchard coming down to the intersection, clicking off lap number two. Right behind him is the number 11 of Scott Box running second. Third place will belong to the 62 car, that's Ken Reichmuth. Fourth place, it'll be the number 91 of Gerald Poe. And running out the top five is the number 10 of Brian Wolf. Over through turns three and four, your race leader continues to be the number 56 of Donnie Blanchard. Inheriting the lead after trouble for the Burba machine. The number 44 cut down a tire and had to head back to the pit area. But he didn't mind a bit. Donnie took over with no problem at all for the race lead. Over through turns three and four. 25 lap extreme figure eight feature event being brought to you by the Powder Keg 2 Restaurant and Lounge. In fact, our friends at the Powder Keg is gonna be presenting the action on Saturday, August 28th. The Powder Keg 2 16th Annual Extreme Figure Eight Mania Event. Twin 45 lap feature for these cars. That's right, they're not gonna have to compete in one, but two feature events, 45 laps in duration. The best overall in each race will give you a total combined score, and the person with the best total combined score will walk away with the big prize for the night. Five laps complete, 20 to go. Your race leader continues to be the number 56 of Donnie Blanchard. Second, it is the number 11 of Scott Box. Scott Box holding down second place. Third is the 62 of Ken Reichmuth. Fourth continues to be the 91 of Gerald Poe. And in fifth place is the number 27 of Rick Hine. So Rick Hine moving inside the top five of figuring veteran himself. There's your leader down through the intersection. Heading off to turns three and four. 
nice job of holding on to the lead, but still a lot of competitors right behind him close by. They're not letting him get too far away as we've seen tonight. Some of our cars getting a nice good jump early in the event, but uh, the field holding on to Donnie Blanchard's bumper, not letting him get very far away. Seven laps down in this event. Luau night here at the Jeffersonville Sports Journal Speedway. Everyone was encouraged to come this evening in Hawaiian garb to receive a reduced admission. The first 1,000 fans received a free Hawaiian leg. Got a bumper going through the intersection there. One of the cars losing a bumper. That might bring out a caution because it is setting right out there in the middle of the racing lane. Yep, there's the offending bumper as we see. As your race leader comes down, all the cars narrowly missing it. Also the 35 is setting there. That is Mark Harmon. Mark Harmon is in the way and that is gonna bring out the red flag as Mark you see there with a cut down driver's side front tire. So that's gonna bring a pause in action to this extreme figure eight event. But stay tuned, there is more racing to come from the Jeffersonville Sports Drone Speedway. We got it right here on Inside Cable's ICN2.